Hi guys, it's Emily Lestrange here with a pseudo review of my weekend plus a little haul. I do apologize if the lighting sucks. Um, most of my bulbs blew out and I haven't been able to go out and get more. But this past weekend was the lovely Tampa Vampire Ball at the castle. And I went to that. It was so much fun. It's sponsored by my friends at Ravens and Rockers. And that's actually going to be the first few things I show you guys is stuff from Ravens and Rockers. I was so happy. They always are so sweet to me and they always work with me um, with things. They're very... I have to... I, I can't say anything bad about them. I just absolutely love them. So, to begin with, I got this cute skirt, if you can see it. Not sure how well these things will um, come into the uh, video. But it's a pencil skirt by Chickstar. And it's got like a satin corsetting down the bottom at the butt basically and I've always had issues with um, pencil skirts like the mermaid skirts that thin out at the bottom I've always had issues with them because I can't really walk in them this one it just it allows you to walk without feeling like you can't move your upper legs and I absolutely I can work in this which is a big plus. Next thing I got from Ravens and Rockers is also a Chicks uh, star. It is a trench coat. Kind of has a Baroque style um, button down right here. The funny thing is the buttons are under these little knots. And in the middle is zipped up. And the Baroque style is also on the shoulders, on the cuffs, and on the back. It goes down almost to the ground, and I absolutely love that in trench coats. I can't get enough of this. I love it so much. The um, worst part about it is that I live in Florida, and the majority of the year it is warm. <laughs> But I'm still content with it. I still will wear it when I can get the chance. Because sometimes it does get cold at night down here. The last thing from Ravens the Rockers I got. I actually have not worn it yet. Because I'm saving it for um, next month's Dapper Day. Uh, where my theme will be the Haunted Mansion. And this uh, next item actually inspired the Haunted Mansion-esque um, outfit. I don't want to say costume because you're not supposed to wear costumes at for day, but it inspired the outfit. And it's a belt by Restyle. I don't know how well you can see the details, but it starts as a Victorian lady and then becomes a skeleton. Ooh. And this uh, I'll just wear over a corset or a waist cincher. But it's very similar to like the paintings. Uh, when you go through one of the hallways of the Han Mansion and they're innocent and then you move a little bit more and they're like these really demented figures. Absolutely love it. The next few items I've actually gotten off online stores. I'll start with what I'm wearing right now. This I got from VampireFreaks.com. Um, Jet's really good with um, being very prompt with items on Vampire Freaks and I don't normally purchase things off the site but this one I like fell in love with. It's a little black heart with a cross inside it and um, barbs or vines, spiked vines around the heart and then like this is a very lacy uh, glued on material onto a clear uh, plastic belt 
belt, I want to say, and it buckles in the back. I prefer my chokers to have a buckle in the back than the snaps. The snaps kind of take away from wearing a choker for me. <laughs> Next things I got, I'm so sorry I'm like sniffing in the video. Um, allergy season, yay! And the allergies get me good. All right, back to the haul. <laughs> the next things I got, next two things, are both jewelry items that I got from Dysfunctional Doll. I usually get jewelry off Dysfunctional Doll just because I like their style jewelry. The first one's a choker, and it's this skeleton woman cameo with a velvet uh, belt part of the choker. And then it has lacing on both either sides of the uh, velvet. And it just hooks in the back. What I like about this is it ha does add a little bit of color. Because if you don't see, there are actually red gems on the top of the um, cameo. I absolutely love this. I'll wear, I wear it to work. This will also be a part of the Dapper Day because... It's definitely Haunted Mansion-esque. Um, next item I got also from Dysfunctional Doll. Uh, I tend to like jewelry better when it's silver, but this was kind of an experiment. I gotta figure out how to work it. There we go. It is a bat cross necklace with three chains connecting it to the hook in the back. And with this, it's cute because there's a little bat that makes the horizontal uh, cross part and a red gem right at the top where um, the INRI would be for regular crosses. But it's just, you, the camera just doesn't do it. It's so detailed, so perfect, it's so beautiful. The only thing I don't like, and this is with all uh, black jewelry, is that sometimes the paint, black paint peels, um, which is a shame, but I'm still going to love this forever and ever and ever. <sighs> Next item is from CorsetDeal.com, which actually is an amazing site to get corsets. Um, this is my first corset I bought off this, and it's a waist cincher. It has beautiful lacing on it, and normally I don't like satin um, ties on corsets, but it, oh my goodness, it's, it works just as well as the rope, the rope corsetting. But it is actually, it does actually have bones, and for how amazing this waist cincher is it was amazingly priced and it came in the mail super fast I wear this like I, I, all my lazy days I wear this I absolutely love it but this this last item this, this, this last item is the one I was most excited about purchasing um, I've been a huge fan of DraculaClothing.com for a long time and I've never had the money to really buy something I would like on it until recently when I got my tax returns and I got, don't know how well you're going to see it, but I will post a, I uh, will post a picture of most of this stuff on Instagram in the next couple days so you guys can check it out. I will th put links. Um, in the descriptions and Instagram. This is going to be the norm for my YouTube videos until I get a laptop to edit all my videos. But it comes, it, it, it already comes with like corset, of course, have a corseting at the back of it, but I still wear the waist center on top of it. And it has this beautiful satin ruffle at the front and a bustle at the back. It is floor length and it does drag the floor. I wore this to the vampire ball and people kept stepping on it unfortunately but I did get a lot of compliments on this dress. I absolutely love it. This will be like the centerpiece for my 
Haunted Mansion Dapper Day outfit as well. I love this dress. If you've been looking at stuff on Dracula clothing for a while and been like, well, is it really worth it? It is worth it. It is 100% worth the money you're spending to get the outfits on Dracula clothing because they are so well done, so beautiful, and they they just make you feel like you're an old older Victorian woman back in the day, just floating around. <laughs> and I, I will be probably more than likely purchasing some more dresses off Dracula clothing. But that is all for this haul slash review of... Maybe I should continue a review of the castle. Because I said I would review the castle, the vampire ball. This is going to be a weird video. Sorry, guys. But like I said, I went to the Endless Night Tampa Vampire Ball. It was actually really nice. Um, everybody that I met there was really kind. And because it was run by the um, nice ladies, uh, Shelly and Sheena, at Ravens and Rockers, um, I, I felt more welcome there than at other events, I guess. I'm very weird when it comes to social environments. I can't have too many people, but it was still so nice. There was incense, and there were bands playing, and DJs, and there was a beautiful costume contest. Costume contest, and it was just all around such a positive vibe. It was at the castle too, so the castle has a lot of like rooms, a lot of DJs, a lot of dance areas. Um, I think next time I might get the VIP package and I might actually record some stuff for you guys because I didn't record much and only a couple pictures got taken, so I, I, I failed at social media with the cat, the, with the, the, the ball. I do apologize, but I will definitely get more, um, pictures and videos next time I go because I will definitely be going another time. Well, I think now I can end the video. I think now officially the video should be done. Um, thank you guys. I, once again, I do apologize for the lighting. Um, I do apologize that the I can't show me dressed in all these outfits, but if you follow me on Instagram, uh, which will be in the description below, I keep wanting to go side, but I know it's below now, and <laughs> this description below will show my Facebook, my Instagram, and the different websites that I bought everything off of. Thank you for watching this with me, and I will see you next time.